The final step in this series is to produce your Camtasia Studio project into a video you can easily share with others. Although Camtasia Studio has many different file formats to produce your video project into, here I'm going to show you how to use Screencast.com to upload and share your video with others. Note that you will need to be connected to the internet in order to upload to Screencast.com. Screencast.com is TechSmith's content hosting service, and we give you 2 gigabytes of free storage space. You control all of your content and decide who gets to see what. Now let's walk through the Produce and Share process. Click the Produce and Share button above the clip bin area to launch the production wizard. Expand the menu to see a list of production options. For an explanation of what some of these other production options are and what they can do, be sure to check out our other Produce and Share tutorials. We're keeping this one pretty basic to get you used to the process. So make sure to select Share to Screencast.com. When you click Next, the program connects to Screencast.com and you'll see a login screen. If you already have a Screencast.com account, log in with that email and password. If you don't have a Screencast.com account, no problem. Just click this link here and it will take you to Screencast.com for you to sign up and create your own free account. Just fill out this form and click Sign Up. I recommend starting with the free account to see if you like it. And then it's easy to upgrade to the pro account down the road if you need more space. To learn more about Screencast.com, be sure to visit the Help Center. Once you've signed up successfully, navigate back to Camtasia Studio and use the same email and password to log into your account. You'll then see this screen where you can give your video a title and choose a Screencast.com folder to save to. If this is your first time using Screencast.com, you probably won't see any folders. You can either just save it to the default library or click on New Folder and create a new one to use. For this example, I'll name the new folder My Tutorials and leave the privacy level set to public. This means anyone can see and access this folder from your library. To learn more about the privacy levels of folders and which one to use and when, visit the Help Center on Screencast.com. Click on the Options button to see a number of tabs that allow you to customize your video and audio settings. I encourage you to explore these options on your own, but I'll leave everything at their default settings for this tutorial and click OK. Click Finish and the video will begin rendering. Your video will also upload directly to the designated folder in your Screencast.com account. Your web browser will open and you can view the video on Screencast.com. Click on the Share tab below the video to find a URL to copy and paste into an email, instant message, or on your web page. When the viewer clicks the link, it takes them directly to your video on Screencast.com. Screencast.com even provides the embed code so you can embed the video directly onto your web page or blog. If you close or minimize your web browser, the Camtasia Production Results window will also show you the URL and embed code to copy and share with your audience. This concludes the Getting Started series. I encourage you to check out the other video tutorials and send us your feedback on what you'd like to learn more about. Thanks for watching.